Uh, you guys have gotten a lot of uh, skeptics. A lot of people are kind of counting you guys out already. It's been going on for a while as far as with Portland and with the Pelicans or whatever. Assuming those teams uh, basically we're going to eventually pass you guys. Uh, are you guys looking at that as, as uh, a distraction or as a motivation right now going into the uh, – back into the season? Uh, motivation. Um, we've been motivated by the Goddards all season long. Uh, we just go out, you know, continue to just try to play our game, don't live and die by the game. You know, just play together, try to come out with a win. Um, we've been doing that, you know, in the eighth position right now. Um, so going into Orlando, um, it's just more motivation, fuel to our fire um, for us, you know, to keep working and go out and play. Megan Rice. Hey, Ja, how's it going? So going? my question for you is during the break, you were very active on Twitter trying to – get a hold of potential recruits or potential players for the Tigers constantly tweeting at them, you know, M or Memphis. Why did you want to go and do that? And also, why do you think it's important to kind of um, preach for Memphis? I mean, it's just me just showing support um, just for Memphis um, as a whole. Um, you know, I see the top recruits. Um, I know some personally. Um, so, you know, just me reaching out to them, you know. Um, I mean, it's not Murray State, so you ever see me tweeting about a, a college recruiters out of one of those two. Um, Murray, if Murray State not on the, the list, it's Memphis, and I'm going to push for Memphis. Teresa Walker. Good morning, Ja. Uh, any worries you have a young daughter uh, about going into this bubble and, and being away from your family and, and this whole situation of possibly being separated for an unknown period of time? Um, 100%. Um, you know, that's the, the biggest thing for me. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to be missing my birthday, my daughter's birthday. Um, that definitely, you know, goes into play um, when you're thinking about going to Orlando. You know, just not able to uh, spend time with your family. Uh, for me, my daughter, um, definitely uh, miss it a lot. Terry Davis. How you doing, John? Quick, quick question. You know, you have a big platform, and a lot of athletes choose not to use their platform. Why do you choose to use your platform to express your views on a lot of social issues? Um, I just feel like it's important. I also encourage, you know, other athletes who um, have the same platform, you know, to speak out. Um, there's no reason to be silent right now. Uh, we need change. Um, so that's, you know, what I look at it as, and that's what uh, my intentions were to do. Uh, Dan Wakey. Hey, sorry about that, Jeff. Um, this is going to be something that's never happened before in terms of the games being played on a neutral site with no fans or anything like that. Do you think that levels the playing field at all for teams? Do you feel like this is a, a real opportunity for a team maybe to, to, to make a really good run in, in kind of a, a strange environment? Um, honestly, you know, I, I don't know. Um, I know, you know, every team out there definitely would miss our fans, but um, – with all this, you know, playing a big part in, in the season. Um, like you said, it's never happened before. Uh, I honestly don't know how it, how it'll turn out, but I know definitely it'll be, you know, one of those seasons to remember because it's, it's never happened before. So to be able to, you know, go out um, with what's going on in the world right now, um, not being able to be with your teammates for a while, only get one to two weeks to, you know, prepare for uh, the rest of the season is – so, Parker Fleming. Yeah, so over the course of this quarantine period, you've been doing a lot of Memphis runs with younger Memphis Hoopers, such as Kennedy Chandler and other Memphis Tiger players. What's it like being that big brother to those guys and serving as a role model and helping them get to the next level? Um, you know, for me personally, it's um, – what I like to be, I always want to be, you know, a great role model. Um, at the end of the day, push the next. But um, as of right now, I'm just happy, you know, to get back to the gym with the Grizzlies and 
know, continue to work, push for this uh, last season run. Evan Barnes. Ja, how's it going? How you doing? All right. Um, obviously, you guys are going to be getting Jaron and Brandon back out there, but how excited are you to kind of see what uh, what Justice can do out there on the court now that he's, you know, back in shape and is going to be down there with you guys? Uh, you know, I'm very excited. Um, you know, I feel like it's just going to be fun, you know, playing alongside him. Um, we can play multiple positions, um, one through four. Uh, we've got great size, great IQ. We um, can score the ball, pass the ball, you know, um, great for not only him, but uh, his teammates. So, um, you know, having him to be able to play that, that backcourt with me, um, it, it's going to be fun. So. All right, Peter Edmiston. Hey, Ja. The, uh, the, the 12 pounds, the LBs that have been talked about a lot, how, how did you gain those? Did you look at this time as a semi, like off season, as a break? How, how did you treat this three and a half months uh, away? To just stay in uh, shape just in case the season started back. Um, just been working out a lot, you know, just staying in the gym, the weight room, um, just pushing myself just to try to get better. Um, I feel like there's always room for improvement. Um, gaining strength has always been um, a top priority for me. And um, during this time, um, I was able to do that. Edward Marlowe. John, how's it going, man? How you doing? Good, man. Uh, listen, uh, Peter just touched on this a little bit about, you know, you, you gaining the weight, but two of the main things that you, you, you wanted to attack um, right after you were drafted was your weight and three-point shooting, and it seems that like both of these things have been addressed. What else is going to be on your list as you go into a playoff-type atmosphere uh, in Orlando? Winning. Going out there to win, prove people wrong. Um, outside of those things, um, I don't know what else. Why? James Herbert. Hey, Ja. Um, was there ever a point during the hiatus where you thought maybe we won't get to finish this out? And if that thought did occur to you, how did you kind of reckon with that, given how much you'd put into this season and how much you, you know, you talked about wanting to make the playoffs and really show with this next generation of the Grizzlies as um, I honestly didn't, you know, know how the, the season will play out. Um, you know, you'll begin to think once the, the days keep getting pushed back. Um, thoughts of the season ending definitely will be in your head. Um, for me, um, the work I've put in, um, the things I've accomplished, just, you know, it's definitely uh, going through my head. Um, but at the same time, I just, you know, took it as an opportunity to get better. Even though I didn't know how it would play out. Next up, Devin Walker. What's up, Ja? What's up? What's up? You so you had the knee surgery leading into the draft into the uh, summer league, and you had you jumped right into games as the season went on, and you got a three month break off. Do you feel like you're you're, you're the Ja you were at Murray State or before the knee surgery, having this three month hiatus off? Um, definitely. Um, I feel you know. Feel like I'm in more shape. Um, my knees feeling way better. Um, no pain, anything. Um, actually, you know, feel like I'm actually leaving the floor easier and jumping higher. Um, you know, I just been taking this time to just um, focus on my body, make sure everything's good. So when it's time to go out and play, you know, I'll be fine. Uh, Pete Pranica. Hey, Ja, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, I'm doing fine. I guess the question that I would have is this is a group that has been so cohesive and the chemistry has been so good. What have you guys done to maintain that chemistry and that connection, even though you couldn't physically be in the same space and playing ball together? Um, really just staying in touch with each other, make sure that everybody's doing good, uh, make sure everybody's family doing well, um, you know, just continue to, to build that bond. Um, all of us, you know, feel like we were all ready to, you know, get back on the floor together and um, get that chemistry back on the on the court and, you know, go out and um, attack the games in Orlando. Uh, Megan Rice. 
Hey, Ja. So my question for you is just how hard was it for you to actually be away from the team and how good was it to, to be back with them as well as have you ever been away from the game of basketball for that long of a stretch? Um, it, it was tough. Um, you know, these guys here, uh, all my brothers, um, we all had the same goal in mind, and, you know, for the season to uh, stop like this. Um, it was kind of tough on all of us. Um, you know, down Corona and the things going on in this world, we, we still have to have each other back. Um, as of, you know, being away from basketball this long, um, I can say almost uh, when I had my knee surgery, but um, healthy, no. James Herbert. Hey, Ja. Um, I know throughout the season you've gotten a lot of questions about grit and grind and what that means and kind of stepping into a culture of the Grizzlies. But I also know you've sort of said, like, we're Grizz next gen. Like, we're, we're trying to do something different here. Can, like, what does that term, Grizz next gen, mean to you? Um, I mean, we, we're not the same team as before. Um, totally different players. But um, at the end of the day, we still have that grit to go out and play, you know, with that fire. Um, but we, we, you know, we get out of run. We're very young. Um, just, you know, um, a new team that's, you know, trying to do the same thing to accomplish um, more than the past team. Edward Marlowe. Ja, was there anything positive in this three and a half month break that you got from the game other than the workout? Was it, was it family time? Was it more film time? With the rest of the NBA, was it focusing on the fact that you you now have a playoff run? Was there anything positive that came from from this break away from the game? Um, definitely, you know, family time is, is number one for me. Um, you know, we'll be gone half of the season on the road, um, so that's time away um, that I don't get to spend with my family or my daughter. So um, I took this time out, you know, to spend a lot of time with them, um, play. I mean, many different house games, you know, just find stuff to do around the house um, to just in, enjoy each other. As a film, um, I'm a big film guy, so I've been watching film uh, this whole time. Um, and once they put out, you know, who's going to Orlando, I started watching film um, immediately. So um, those two things are probably, you know, the top things outside of, you know, working out uh, and gaining weight um, that, you know, I took the time to do. All right, we have time for two more questions. Uh, we'll start with Peter Edmiston. Yeah, John, the, the weight gain uh, and the strength gain, when you play out there in your 5 on 5 runs, uh, how have you noticed it affecting the way that you play? What are the differences that you see? Um, I mean, stronger. Can <laughs> um, absorb contact. Um, <laughs> those things, um, able to use my body more, um, get through different screens. That's what I'm just looking to do, um, you know, when we go to Orlando to be able to do um, the things I've been doing before, but um, better, so. All right, and then uh, last question for today, uh, Evan Barnes. Uh, a lot of people have said this is kind of like almost like a big AAU tournament or something like that. Uh, can you compare this setup with eight games, this, this, this possible playing tournament? Is this, can you think of anything that kind of compares to it a little bit that you've been through? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the AU comparison is, is kind of that, you know, just being in a, a place, just playing games, um, just trying to go out and win a championship. Uh, me and Jared actually joking through uh, texts, um, asking like what court we playing on and what time. You know? <laughs> but, you know, it definitely gives you that, that AU feeling. Um, I haven't played AU in a while, but I know my time. Um, and the setup they're saying we, we have in Orlando is, is kind of similar. All right. Thanks, Joe, for joining us today. No problem. Thank, Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Have John. a good day. Stay safe. You too. Thanks. Bye.